Hi everybody, this is, will serve as an introduction to one of the more important topics of this course, Reconstruction. Now, we're going to cover in the learning objectives that follow a lot of players involved. President Lincoln, President Johnson, the radical Republicans like Thaddeus Stevens, the various laws that were passed like the Civil Rights Act of 1866 and the constitutional amendments that were passed during this time period, uh, the 14th and 15th Amendment. Um, and so there's, and then the great compromise of when the parties were able to reconcile their differences in 1877. So there's a lot of details to take into consideration. But what I, what I really want you all to keep in mind is the human element that's at play here. This was an atrocious event following one of the most violent periods in all of human history, the American Civil War. And so I'm going to show you the beginning of a documentary called Aftershock, which you can watch at the bottom of this web page. I highly recommend viewing the entire thing because it really captures what um, Northerners, white Northerners, thought about the end of the Civil War and the Reconstruction period from 1865 to 1877, white Southerners, as well as Northern African Americans, and then most poignantly, um, Southern African Americans, and what was at cost for each of them, what was at play for each of them. And this little scene right here gives a great depiction of exactly what was at play for white Southerners as well as African American Southerners. So take a look at this and then continue watching. Um, when you're able to, after after viewing the the uh, the lectures on Reconstruction, the film Aftershock, you will not uh, be disappointed. It's a great documentary. It's very riveting, and it really does capture the the tremendous human loss that was involved uh, during this time period, and gives you a sense too of why we might still be dealing with uh, racial issues to this very second uh, in the United States. Take care, and let me know what you think, too. You can uh, put things in the comments or email me. Talk to you guys later. I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves within said designated states and parts of states are and henceforward shall be free. And that the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval authorities thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of said persons. Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation promises freedom for the slaves. But this is 1866 one full year after the official end of America's bloodiest war. This scene is not a pre-Civil War atrocity. It is a post-Civil War nightmare. History books declare that the American Civil War ended in April of 1865, but did the violence end? No, it did not. The violence continued at least for another decade. You've been fooled by the damn Yankee lies that you thought you was free and you could not obey your master. There ain't no law against killing niggers. I'll kill every damn one I have if you do not obey me and work just as hard as you did before the war. This is not the post-Civil War America envisioned by Abraham Lincoln. On April 11, 1865, Two days after Lee surrenders to Grant at Appomattox, Lincoln calls for a reconstruction of the country, a rebuilding of trust and a dedication to peace. <laughs> 